Let's start off with this one in the Big Ten West. Oh, boy. Purdue 31, Illinois 24. And let's pull up the stats. Let's see what we got here. 74 plays for Purdue to only 63 for Illinois. Both teams had a turnover. Purdue had, uh, you know, 75 more yards, whatever it is, 379 to 303. Uh, They had seven more first downs. They had uh, more yards per play. They had more yards per rush. Illinois, surprisingly, had more yards per pass, but that probably had something to do with the fact that they only threw the ball 32 times. This was not what was supposed to happen. But when you really look at it, when you really break down this, uh, this Illinois defense and what they've been able to accomplish this year, I think Aiden O'Connell is the best quarterback that they have faced. Even though Purdue has not been great this season, even in weather, et cetera, Aiden O'Connell was 25 out of 40 for 237 yards and three touchdowns and one interception. Um, Maccabi had, you know, 28 carries for 106 yards rushing against that Illinois defense, and that was shocking to me. Uh, this was just, a, you know, hey, hey, how about dual threat Aiden O'Connell, by the way? Two rushes for 33 yards in this one, and they were very important. Of course, they had the one 24-yarder. This team was able to take advantage of the middle of the field with Payne Durham. Seven receptions, 70 yards, two touchdowns. And you look over at what Tommy DeVito did in this, and 18 out of 32, 201 yards, one touchdown. They they were not... They were Both teams were 5 out of 13 on third down. Um, but it seemed like Illinois just kept getting in their own way. 12 penalties for 121 yards. Uh, Purdue only had 6 for 80. Like it just 120 yards of penalties, and it it just killed drives. Like it, that's 100 percent what ended up happening here. You look at the win probability, and somewhere in there around play like 113, 114 is when this thing flipped. And Illinois not able to get it done. Purdue mucks this whole thing up, right? Because now you have got a four way tie at the top of the standings. And and I, I probably need to pull this up, but we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about this other game first. But I do want to bring up uh the Big 10 West standings because man, it it is it's a disaster. I mean, who knows what's going to end up happening here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.